What is going on, everybody? How about them Steelers? We're still undefeated. All those people say the Browns are going to beat us. Wow. Oh, my friend dog was under me. I just booted her. But anyhow, um, so everybody knows they stopped the economy level PSA, which was $20 a card. They were coming back in about three, maybe four months. I'd probably say three roughly uh, to four. Yeah, somewhere around there because it had taken about six to eight weeks to log it in the system and all that. And there is a new system out there at PSA. Don't get me wrong. You've got to put barcodes on the outside of your box. And literally, I don't even know how to roll really even say it. They're small. They're like by an inch by like quarter inch. So trying to cut out just enough to tape around it and everything, painful. Painful, I'm telling you. Because I like to get all four sides of it uh, done. That way there's a barcode everywhere. But that just tells you that they received your package. It doesn't like get it scanned in the system yet. So anyhow, they do have a value PSA uh, thing out there. It's 2017 and newer cards. You have to set a minimum of 20 in. And I've been wanting to do this, but it's just been hard to get a hold of 20 decent cards to set in that are valued now under 199 So yesterday we broke some Topps Chrome, and uh, Jacob asked me uh, if I had any room. And I said, I can really use it. So I'm going to send in a couple of his cards with this just so that I could fill out the order and not keep stretching trying to get, like, well, what nine do I want now, you know, type deal. But, so we're we'll looking at sending these in. you got a Bobochette. Oop, I didn't realize my camera was so low, uh, high up. Hold on. Hurt. Yep, I made that noise. That's probably better. So we're going to send in a Bobochette, Topps Chrome Rookie, the Refractor. Those are his, and these are all mine. Now, girl, we all know how you go with Bowman. There's four of these Loras. Hopefully one comes back at 10 because we all know I just can't judge Bowman where the crap. Um, the mosaics, I got pink camo, Johnson, green, uh, Weatherspoon. Not real big, huge names or anything, but you never know at any given time. Somebody has a great game, great week, something like that. These things rise up. And plus I got to stay on a $200 value, you know. Lucas, second year revolution. This is the... Regular, I thought it was a Chinese. Um, but figure I'd send in second year Luca, something cool. We do have a score, Herbert, not Hebert, as some people say. His name is not Hebert, it's Herbert. All right, mosaics. Uh, I'm gonna guess most of these come back at nine. Vinus, there's a like a silver of uh, Peyton Manning. And just by looking, there's like a divot here or there. I don't know how lenient they're gonna be on these. And like I said, the Herbert here is just a debut. It's nothing that's going to be crazy. Same with the Love. But, you know, it could have value down the road. This is the only one I really think is going to be a 10. And I'm trying to say, the reason why I'm doing this is because I like to remember what I thought cards are going to come back as, too. But I'm guessing all these are going to be 9s, which I have no problem with it being a 9. These are the No Huddle Specials, uh, Hamler and Brady. And the only reason I say that is that somehow I like to hold some of my 10s that I get out of the order and so i gotta sell stuff in order to basically reimburse myself for what i put in the psa those nines do it you know right off the bat or i could just sell a bunch of nines and get a nice 10 down the road i have all different reasons why i do it uh, i picked two of these up canvas rugs these are out of uh, don russ they should come back tens i hope and then two soccer cards Jadon Sancho. These are a PSA 10 if they come out at like $120, $140. So at least that's what last I looked at whenever I was doing these a while back. So 20 cards going out to PSA. We'll see how long it takes. I might do a couple of these between now and the end of the year. Um, the only reason being is I need to get cards to come back in. I just can't. Wow, my computer is just like crazy glitching there. Or it's my camera, one of the two. I don't know which one it is. Um, but I got to get car, you know, orders out because I just can't have a big stagnant period of not having PSA coming back in because then I'll get in the rhythm that I didn't want to do uh, from the beginning of the year is not having a PSA order coming in monthly. So these, I don't know, because the way I was told with the values, it's the way they do the value ones. Because, Grant, I have an 80s one that's been out there since June. Um, logged in is they base it off of the market and the demand. 
So I'm guessing the newer stuff has higher demand than the 80s value did. So I'm hoping, you know, these would come back somewhere late February, early March is my guess. These will go out tomorrow. Also, if you were in the break yesterday, bought anything from the store or want to rise for me, all, I have two big bins full for the uh, USPS tomorrow. That's the other reason why I want to push this out so I have no more mail. I've actually just got the desk cleaned off. I still got to like, wipe it down and stuff from the brakes and everything and sorting, shipping, everything else that I do. Heck, there's a thing of tape still hiding back here, part of my cardboard. But I want to get everything cleaned up down here. Uh, I, I just want to move product out that I've been sitting here for a while. Like I was telling you guys, if you guys don't want to sell on eBay, you have two options. One, you can send your cards to DC Sports Cards. Um, he's on Facebook. They'll sell them for you. I do it all the time. I get a big stack, send them out, he sells them, and then I just get whatever percentage back out of it. You can check that out on there. The other alternative, bstsportcards.com. Uh, they were supposed to come today. They're not because of an issue they had. It should be up tomorrow for the beta version for a few people for us to go in there, test it out, play around with it, see what kind of kinks we come up with, and then also try to load it up a little bit, not a whole lot. They're still looking at the launch being next Sunday, so... Check him out. Um, if you're on the Facebook group page, Extreme Car Breaks, he just joined that, but we're not too active in that group anymore because I do all the breaks in the Monster Den now. But I'll probably start posting there occasionally here and there. Um, I don't know if that's my camera's glitching or not. I'll have to really like rewatch this video and see. There's like stuff jumping. Um, it, it could just be X Split 2 just acting up. I, I never know. Half the time I'm like, oh, is this wrong here? And I want to rewatch the video and it's perfectly fine. Got me. Technology, not the best at it. But I'm going to start doing these a little bit here and there because also instead of me highlighting on sheets of paper, I kind of remember whose is what. And no, it's not an open invitation for people to start sending me cards for PSA. It's just every now and then I let people tag along in orders that I've known for a while. And uh, I just I used to do it before for BGS for people. And this is no joke, and that's back like two, three years ago. We would mail a 10-day, and I was getting hit up constantly, you know, right after 10 days. I'm like, dude, they just received that like three, or, you know, like five days ago. We still got five left. I won't even see grades until the night of or the next day. And it just became such a constant headache. That's why I just don't really offer the service that much anymore. Normally when I do, it's just people I've known for a long time. And they're just not going to hit me up nonstop onto it. Um, so, yeah, if you ever see one of these videos and you're like, oh, he's adding people. I wonder if I can get into it. it it's really the only reason I do is because I've known him for a long time. And I have uh, established a pretty good relationship. I mean, we will. these guys will not, like, sit there and hit me up every week. What's the status? What's the status on PSA? Especially now with them being late. Normally, my protocol is this. It ships. Once it gets logged in the system to where it's actually generated in my PSA uh, order submission little thingy, I tell them. When it goes into grading, I tell them. And then as soon as it hits assembly, and then I usually say, hey, we ship about a couple days. I'm like, hey, it's shipped. It's here. Stuff like that. And it's a little bit easier. Plus, I don't want to have to sit there and message like 50 people. And then we start worrying about, oh, whose card was what? Because there was a 9 or an 8 or a 7 in the order. You guys kind of get that. But anyhow... That's pretty much it. You guys hopefully had a good weekend. Um, still some good football on right now. But I just wanted to, this is more like a video for myself, but also to let you guys know we're still going to do some PSA down the road, but it's going to be here and there until we figure out where the economy level comes back in at. All right. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I'll see you later this week. Uh, should be another break next Saturday in the Monster. And if you're not part of it, check them out. See you later.